Hello everyone, so let's get started on the eye. Okay, so I'll pan a sphere, sphere 3D uh, from a side view. And then I'll just uh, position this sphere smaller. Put it in, sorry, got the right front view. Put it in the eye socket on the right side. So I'll just scale this down a little bit. Try to match to this uh, model as much as I can. Uh, that I think it will look accurate. So at the center of the eye, and I'll press uh, F7. So maybe a little bit higher. So based on my side view, the position seems to be like this. And I do realize this uh, side ridge needs to be the face, the side view here needs to be much, much higher, I think. Much, much higher. So just let me mesh that a little bit more and then push, push in. Side view. My symmetry is on, by the way. So make sure your symmetry is on. If not, uh, you should do a mirror to get the symmetry back. So, so yeah. Now it looks a bit funny because it's just a sphere, but later we make the eyelids for it. So it will look much better. Uh, let the uh, eye really grab in the whole socket. So I think uh, it doesn't need to be too small. And then we go to the front view. So the front view it actually looks like this. So it's quite a good size right now, I'd say. Maybe just on the inner side of the of the uh, of the eyes, we should push in a little bit so later it'll be easier for us. So put it side by side and then try to match this uh, as much as I can before we move forward and put the socket the face uh, socket distance well before we proceed. Okay, so on this uh, eye, I'll just uh, off the rest of the body groups. And I'll just go to the front view. I'll mask the center area. Fully mask it like this, and I press uh, Control I. Then I'll do a. I'll do a. Sorry, I'll go down here. I'll do an extract with the default settings, and then I'll press Accept. All right. So and then I unmask it. So I'll unmask on my eye as well, and then this one I'll name it as my eye. This one I'll name it as my eyelid. Press a Control W on my whole eyelid to start changing its color, and then I just want the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid to have a different color. Okay, my top eyelid and the bottom eyelid to have a different color. How do I do it? I do a mask on the bottom part, and then now I do Control W. So just now we did a Control W on everything. Now we did another Control W on just the bottom part when it's masked. So we will have two eyelids with uh, different poly groups. And uh, this is how we want it to be moving forward. Okay, I'll unisolate everything. And I'll do a mirror and well on the eyelid, a mirror and well on the eye. So we will just mirror the parts to the uh, other side over here. On the right side to the left side. Okay, now the our eyelid is in place. Uh, we should kind of move both of this down. So let me move both of this down together. I'll on my transpose to R and move both of this lower a little bit, so that it will just sit on the uh center of the eye a little bit better. So it makes more sense here. Okay. Okay, now I'll just uh, open up these eyes. So I have mass by poly groups to 100, and then uh, I also want to take note that we need to really be careful with this line of the eye brow, and to maintain it there, and to keep it polished, keep it straight. Okay, why why is it that we need to do that? I'll show you some reference that I have. Okay, so this is an eye. Uh, that is under the all the anatomy reference that I passed you this week. Okay, so the eye has many different areas, and uh, it's really important for us to be able to draw and observe these uh, shadow areas 
and this uh, bottom plane and the top plane on the eyes. So it's super important so that we know and uh, when we are sculpting and we are painting a drawing that we can identify this area. So our object will look much more realistic. So you, can, you have to be, understand that this inner part is different. It has a, it's almost like a hard surface. It's a, there's a 90 degree angle change over here. And once you understand that, all your drawings and all your all your uh, paintings will look much better. So that's why there's, there's a shadow here. It's because of this reason. And the eyelid actually pushes in because of that. And that's what makes it darker here. So if you understand that, you will always draw this eyelid darker. And this bottom part may be hit by more light. So there's more highlights here. Okay, look at more reference that we have on how the eye is actually painted by different artists and this is also so cool so this is the reference uh, I grabbed from anatomy from sculptors and it just shows you uh, the Asian eyes and uh, maybe the uh, other eyes from other races it can look so different and that's because of the muscles on the face as well so the other than the eye that I talked about that we want to separate the top eyelid and the bottom eyelid Okay, so I'm drawing different colors for you to see. There's also this muscle over here on the face that we need that will change depending on the model and your character. Okay, so this is under face of your sub mesh, sub tools. So it's under face. And then this is the upper eyelid. So this is eyelid one. And then this is eyelid two. And both of these will go under the same layer. And, if, and we, I don't need to divide this because, uh, how do I call it? I'm using poly groups to handle it. You know? So that's why I need to have uh, different colors. Like that's the first thing I set. I press Shift F to look at the poly frame, the wireframe of the eyelid. And then I mask the top eyelid and I press a Ctrl W. So I, I set different colors to eyelid 1 and eyelid 2 so that I'll be able to control the two eyelids on different polygroups. And then depending on your model, okay, go and look at your model, what you want to do. And then the, the face, uh, the, the face may protrude more or push in a little bit more. And then the, you end up with a different eye over here. So it's really, really cool reference, guys. Uh, anatomy from Sculptors uh, under the art station page. And I grabbed some of these reference from there. I really like it. And a more anatomy for sculptor's reference for the eye. Okay, so I hope you uh, learn from that. Pretty cool stuff, right? So, okay. So also another thing to point out. Uh, so for this reference, you can see the dots here. This is the edge of the eyelid. is close to center. It's pretty low. And the edge of the eyelid close to the top is uh, the highlight in green is higher. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's why I say uh, I need to maintain this part over here the shadow and the top plane, the bottom plane of the eyelid to maintain this 90 degree and then push it on the right spots so that we would make a nice eye for it. Okay, so now I'm just going to push up. Push it up. Using my snake hook, my mask by product groups is 100, by the way. So it's on. So it just help me to... Oops, uh, just now I forgot to on my symmetry, so jokes, so I'll press uh, mirror and well. Okay, <laughs> let me do that again. And then I'll just press X to on my symmetry. Oh, it's okay, you know, it's okay. If you lose our symmetry, just mirror and well. And then uh, just, just get it again, it's okay. And uh, push this up. Side. So, so as I mentioned, this uh, eyelid's close to the center. I want to keep it pretty low. And then I lead close to the bottom. I want to make it lower. And then go inside of this eyelid a little bit. And then the sides I'll just I'll really be daring and push it up because you can almost see like it's a, it's pretty high on this end. So you can see it on the side view is pretty high. So there to push it up, and then we'll get the shape that we want. <clears throat> okay. 
Alright, so now I want to check on my eye size again. Um, seven, six. So I think uh, my eye is a little bit too big, so I'll on my uh, transpose on all selected sub tools. I'll just scale it down. So I do want it to be more like this, but uh, I think it'll be a little bit too small. So I'll make it a little bit bigger. Seven. <clears throat> so I have to start pushing up this uh, cheek muscles here to make this uh, look more natural. So don't be afraid to do that. As well as the inner side of the eyelid on the top. So just push push out this top part slowly but from the inside out. I think I have a not sure if I have a gap on my ear on my eyelid, so let me just check that out. Not really, I don't really have a Gap, but actually I do. So <laughs> let me just uh, adjust that. So I'll just snake hook this area. I'll cheat a little bit by pressing snake hook, and it's okay. The as long as generally your shape is kind of like a sphere, it's okay. I'll just cheat a little bit. So I do want my eye to go more towards the side. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this to the side a little bit. So I'll transform all my tools again and scale this to the side a little bit. So as I mentioned, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of okay. It's okay to, uh, as long as it matches our reference well, you know. So, so that's a, actually a big part of this, to be able to match the reference well. Okay. So I did uh, enlarge it more close to the side views here. And I think now we are actually sitting on a pretty good spot. Okay, so you can keep on massaging this, but I think for the uh for the benefit of this video i'll keep it over here all right so i think i'll see you on the next video Bye bye